In 2018, this blue plaque was put up on the former house of Ale Sabadam in Carmarthen. It was then 90 years since women had finally got the vote, something Alice Abadam fought for. She was the daughter of Edward and Louise Abadam of Middleton Hall, now demolished, but the grounds have become the National Botanic Garden of Wales. Her father was a political radical. Her mother suffered from depression and lived apart from her young family for most of their lives. Alice was educated at home, she learned several languages and was a talented musician. In 1886, after her parents had died, she moved to this house in Picton Terrace, just round the corner from St Mary's Roman Catholic Church. She had converted to Roman Catholicism and was the organist here, directed the choir and helped fund the building of the presbytery. It was at this church that she met Dr Alice Vow Johnson, a pioneering lady doctor who in 1901 had just been appointed as medical officer at the Joint Counties Asylum in Carmarthen. They became lifelong companions and lived together at Picton Terrace. Dr Johnson was eminently qualified for her position. She had studied at London, Edinburgh, Vienna and Brussels and worked in Great Ormond Street Hospital, the new hospital for women in London, Canning Town Hospital the Royal Free, Egypt, Vienna and lastly Birmingham City Asylum. She had worked in surgery, anaesthetics, eye disease and mental health. Together the two Alices brought a group of Breton nuns to Carmarthen in 1903. They were fleeing from disturbances arising from the French government opposition to religious schools. The idea was for them to help with educating Catholic children and visiting workhouse inmates, but as most of them spoke very limited English, it was not a great success, though they did teach some local ladies a bit of French. In 1904, Dr Johnson was appointed as medical officer to the Lambeth Poor Law Schools, and the two Alices moved to London. While Dr Johnson fought battles with misogynistic pressmen, Alice Abadam turned her attention to the battle for votes for women. In 1905, Alice Abadam joined the Central Society for Women's Suffrage, embarking on a number of speaking tours. She was a talented orator and formidable campaigner. She wrote for many of the suffrage journals and was president of the Beckenham branch of the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies and the Norwood and District Women's Suffrage Society. She was a suffragist, not a suffragette. That is to say, she didn't support Mrs Pankhurst's form of militant protest, having broken from the Women's Social and Political Union in 1907 and establishing the Women's Freedom League. Her Catholicism continued to be as zealous as ever, but she attracted criticism from many priests who opposed votes for women, and she fought this opposition along with other members of the Catholic Women's Suffrage Society. She didn't have much to do with Carmarthen after her move to London, but did speak at Cardiff and Pontypridd in 1909 and addressed an audience at Swansea in 1917 on social problems. She was by now dealing with other feminist issues, including prostitution and women's education. She also praised women for their part in war work, such as working in munitions factories. After the war, she founded the Feminist League, and became president of the Anti-Vivisection Society in 1930. From 1926 to 1933, the two Alices lived at St John's Wood, Dr Johnson moving to Wimbledon for the last five years of her life for fresher air. When she died, she was buried in an unmarked grave at St Mary's Carmarthen. Alice Abadam then moved to Carmarthen to live with her nephew and died there in 1940. She was buried with her lifelong friend, and this is her headstone, depicting the Virgin Mary and the Holy Spirit with the words Mater Misericordiae, Ora Pro Nobis, Mother of Mercy, Pray for Us, but without her name or the name of Dr Johnson. The anonymity was rectified recently, and this stone has been added, which names both Alice's. I hope you found their stories interesting. 
please remember to hit the like button and as always thank you for watching